YouTube, Facebook, MySpace, Flickr. Do you know what they have in common? They all transmit vast amounts of data on a constant basis as these and other Web 2.0 technologies continue to emerge and evolve, shaping the way we share experiences and information. Concerns are growing over the enormous pressure being placed on the existing network infrastructure. Based on current estimates, YouTube alone streams approximately 100 petabytes of information every two months. That's more than every radio, cable, and broadcast television signal transmitted worldwide over the course of one year. And now, the race is on to deliver high-definition video over the Internet. Apple, Microsoft, Amazon.com, Netflix, and others are currently placing big bets to achieve dominance of the video download market. Yet, the download of a single, high-definition movie exceeds the current average annual household consumption of all other types of online media such as web pages and email. With the advent of these high bandwidth downloads becoming standard fare, the increased demand on the communication infrastructure will be substantial, to say the least. Some experts fear the entire system could clog up like a freeway during rush hour. As you might imagine, network suppliers are struggling to upgrade their systems. But there's a problem. The current technology that enables high-speed communication is based on crystals, which have speed limitations and require higher operating voltages. Up until now, innovators have found ways to squeeze more and more out of the existing technology. But the problem with these common crystalline materials is that parameters such as power consumption and bandwidth become compromised as data rates approach 50 gigabits per second. And we're going to need a lot more than 50 gigabits per second to meet the escalating demand. So network suppliers have started to implement workarounds where multiple components can be used in parallel to achieve higher bandwidths. While this may offer a stopgap solution, it's expensive, complex, and inefficient. We need a better solution. Lumera's polymer-based devices are key to keeping up with demand and offer vast improvements in bandwidth, distance, and power consumption. Lumera was founded in October of 2000 to develop high-performance optical network components using electro-optic polymer materials. Instead of using electrons traveling through metal wires to transmit data, our modulators transmit data via photons with the speed of light. The technology of our polymer materials was based on intellectual property developed by University of Washington professor Larry Dalton and Dr. Alex Jen. Lumera's polymer materials are designed and synthesized at the molecular level, creating a combination of the fastest switching speeds with the lowest power consumption and optical losses in the industry. Presently, Lumera produces 20, 40, and 100 gigabit per second polymer-based electro-optic modulators. Optical devices made from these polymer-based materials have a small footprint, consume less power, and offer greater bandwidth than conventional technologies. Being fabricated on silicon substrates makes them easily integrated with other devices, such as lasers, line drivers, and other optical and electronic devices. Lumera's modulators are suitable for all digital formats commonly used in optical networking and optical transmission applications. Due to the high bandwidth and highly linear response, these modulators are also suitable for analog applications. Internet growth shows no signs of slowing. Each year, millions of new users are given access to the World Wide Web, and each year the demand for bandwidth surges. Lumera is ready and has a solution. If you're a network designer, give us a call. We can help.